friends and welcome to another quick and dirty video. I have no idea which one this is. Uh, you'll have to look on the thumbnail. What I'm working on here is using these uh, color layers to identify uh, different parts to be able to make different parts. Okay, so for instance, I'm looking at this and it's all drawn out in black. And I thought, it looks to me like there's a full fuselage doubler in there. It's not, but get to that here in a minute. And so I want to be able to just select just that all in one thing. And so I go through here, hold my control button down. I start selecting parts until I've got the entire hole here selected. I change it to blue. I go to this one. I go through, select all that, change it to blue. And then I get down and start doing like the lines. Select as many as I can and change them to blue. Until I start getting to the point that I think, okay, I think I've got the doubler all drawn out and turned into blue. So I can select blue over here on my cut layers, go to edit, select all shapes in current cut layer. And that selects everything that I've got turned blue. And pull that out here. I can look it over. Oh, wait a minute. There's something I forgot. Whatever, whatever. Control Z. Put it right back where it was. And I can go right back to work. Selecting other lines. Turning them blue. Until I've got everything that I need. And simply select the layer blue or whatever color you want to work with. Select all shapes in current layer. Pull that out. Final inspection. Okay. Looks good. Pay no mind to the rib there. I was just showing off. Okay. Looks like I've got something that, that can work. I'll control Z that back into the plan. And now I can anytime I want select blue Select all those shapes, right click and duplicate, or control D, whichever you prefer, and pull that section out of there. Now I went ahead up here and changed my all to black so that it wouldn't interfere when I wanted to pull something just blue. Alright, and then I get to look at it, and the first thing I notice. Okay, it looks like the firewall comes plumb through the doubler, and this bulkhead, and this bulkhead, yet these back bulkheads seem like they're actually behind the doubler and the outer sheet. So I look in this section, and yeah, sure enough, doubler only comes back here to about the leading edge of the tail, if you will, which means this outer sheet, which... They've got it divided into sections. I'm going to do full section. Uh, you can watch my video on Print and Cut to see how to do that. And so, apparently, I've got solid sheet through here and then these holes on the outer part. So, alright. I'm not going to need, just for doublers, all I'm going to need is like from here forward. I could just... Cut that out of there, lay it in the machine, cut it out. But I'm going to end up with some little scrap woods here and there because, like, your firewall is going to go here, bulkhead in there, bulkhead in there. That's actually one piece. This is a piece, and this nose is a piece all to itself. All right. So if I don't want to waste the little slivers of wood, select that, select that. When I get everything selected that I need for that piece, I can move it back. Okay, that's ready to cut. Go in here. Because this is not grouped yet or anything, I can just scoot that back till it matches. Good and good. Same thing up here. Ah. Of course, when I'm trying to film it, it's going to screw. Oh, looks good. All right. And just keep going until I've got this piece, this piece, and this piece. Still leaves me that piece. Okay, 
So before I did any of that, I duplicated the entire thing. And I come up here and kind of just did the same thing, right? So I came back in here and changed to red everything I was pretty sure I was going to need for the outer fuselage skin. And I can do the same thing. Went up here. You see I named the layer fuselage. You can double click that. You can select your different colors and name it whatever the heck you want. Right? Select that. Edit. Select all shapes and current cut layer. That selects everything that's red. And there I have my outer sheet doing the same thing that I did on further down. Now it's going to need a little editing, but we're not grouped yet. I'll select that. Set it in place. Same thing here. Set it in place. And so on and so forth until you get everything squared away like you want it. Maiden Voyage. Oh, hope it helps you out. And uh, happy flying, everybody.